cash out. Are you ready? So we're going to be making some tier lists. We're going to be making some tier lists. Obviously, this is clickbait. Obviously, this would be like here. This would be here. This would be here. This would be like somewhere in the middle. And obviously, we're just above S completely. But you can't see when we put stuff outside of S. So we're going to put it right there. So this is the tier list we will be doing for real oh the silly songs from veggie tales we all know them we all love them but let's rank them and see which ones are good and which ones are cringe Ooh, what do we start with um we're gonna probably start out with the water buffalo song the water buffalo song so i already see a problem here this is old larry the cucumber voice where he sounded like this the like, water buffalo yeah like this was Lord. not good this was not good no it's all okay. one shot. We got some 1917. We got some Birdman action going on here. They managed to pull the entire silly song off in one clean shot. What does chat think of Water Buffalo song? I'm saying uh, it's a solid B. What do you I think? I saw a B Water Buffalo, a couple Bs. Seeing, I'm seeing E's, I'm seeing S's, and I'm seeing F's. I, I, <sighs> I say we put it somewhere in the middle range. I say we put Water Buffalo in D. D, yeah. That is okay. fair. So next up, we got a banger, the hairbrush song. Oh, where is my hairbrush? That's the real Larry oh, where, voice. Where, where? The composition is all right. It's still early Veggie Tales, so, you know, the animation isn't great. But honestly, for the second Silly song, the animation is significantly better. The vocals Yo. are significantly better. It's catchy. I haven't gotten this out of my head. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? The narrator is popping oh. off. You got that four fall break, classic Veggie Tales humor. Got that lovely tongue in cheek vibe about it. I, I love that. I'm seeing a lot of A's in chat. It's either A or S. I don't think it's S tier. No, I don't think it's their ultimate. It's not the best silly song. I don't think it is S tier. I haven't let go of the mouse yet. Did someone just say D? Did someone really say D for the hairbrush song? Can we, me. can we ban that person out of chat? <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have the dance of the cucumber. Okay, let's do this. So I already have a problem with this one, Jude. What's that? They have the Spanish vocals and they have the translator. And I yeah. get it's the bit, but there's also two voices that are the same volume happening at once. Yeah, and it's also minorly culturally insensitive. A, S, A, A, B, S, S, S. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I don't agree with Chad on this one. Yeah. E? Who's the guy saying E? This one isn't that bad. It's not a B. It's not close enough to be a B. It's that not a B. Okay, next song right. is Love My Lips. If my lips said audio, if I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. Larry is self-aware about the fact that he has no lips. He just has an Xbox controller shaped hole <laughs> in his face. His notepad is like 40% of his body. <laughs> yeah. My uh, only problem with it is listen to his voice. If my lips ever left uh, mouth, ah, 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 ow, ow, yeah. ow, ow, owie, ow, ow, ouch, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, the tones aren't ideal. <laughs> we need, we need some, we need some auto-tune. We need some Melodyne on this man. We need to roll off some of the high end on the EQ. It's a little, little spicy on the highs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that without lips, and that's the best part of the bit. And I only like three words in Polish. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The asparagus is smoking, and I don't think we can have that in a kids' show. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and skip over that part. She had a beard. It felt weird. Oh yeah, he kissed a bearded woman in this. Yes. VeggieTales was I, quite edgy for its time. VeggieTales was woke. I have some mixed feelings about it. Chat to you. People are saying S, S, B, A, S. I'm seeing a lot of C's. People like it a lot more. <laughs> what is our verdict? I'm thinking it's it's in like the B range because it's a great mm, song. The I production's not great. The the humor's really, really good though. I'm thinking- That's why I'm putting it that high. I'm but. thinking maybe an A because it's like a bop and it's catchy and funny. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, one so. in chat for A, two in chat for B. One for A, two for B. Okay, people are just putting the letters in. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, ah, it's so split. I'm seeing so many ones and twos. Jude, I'm leaving this up to you. I'm too torn. Uh, you know what? I From the nostalgia factor and the fact that it gets stuck in my head, I'm going to say A. A, it goes. Yes. Why is After Effects frozen? Yes, he made his tier list in After Effects. <laughs> We're going to ignore that. The <clears throat> next silly song we're going to take a look at is Oh Santa. Now, Jude, do you remember Oh Santa from your childhood? 
Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Neither did I. So this song is automatically bumped down a little bit. There's no nostalgia factor. If cheeseburger and Heisel had Aaron in SIM unfubbing. We will get to those. I have some qualms with Larry's High Silk Hat, but we will get to those. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Larry's clearly an adult. Yeah. But they make him act like a child in especially some of the very, very early episodes. You're right. In this one, they're having him like wait for Santa. And the whole bit is that it's not Santa. That's it? There's is one it good funny? bit. There is one good bit in this I'd entire like to song. I'd just to make my decision... Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> Who are you? I'm from the IRS, and I've come to attack your... <laughs> that is the... <laughs> that is the only good bit from this song. The rest of this song is garbage. Why? Why? Why didn't they lean into that? That's so... That's so much better. <laughs> All right, that kept it from being like F tier in my mind. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Just that bit alone. All right, God. chat, cast your vote for Oh Santa. Uh, who's saying B? Who is saying B and C? No, you're wrong. I think E, e is pretty fair. I think yeah, because I don't. The IRS joke is the only thing really for me that saved it. All right, we're gonna put it in E. Oh, is his cheeseburger next? I'm saying silly songs is canceled until further notice. So Larry's getting fired for that last one. There's a little bit of a history behind this song. Do you know it, Jude? Uh, Do you know what happened after before. they released this song? Uh, what? People actually sent in letters because of the innuendos in this song. Really? And like, guys, guys, this is Veggie Tales we're talking about. <laughs> oh no! Let's give this a listen and see what almost got Veggie Tales canceled. He said to her. Like a cheeseburger. Um, I will admit this drive through thing kind of scared me as a child, but oh, other than like that chorus hits hard, it hits yes. so hard. What what are the innuendos that they don't like? That he's they didn't like it? that it was love and it was like him cheating on Burger Bell with the breakfast restaurant. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. So, let's be real. That's a good song. It is an actually good song. This is the first VeggieTales like song that if you just played this at some point, I wouldn't question it and I would like sing along with it. It's either A or S, and I think it's going to be S. There's not much wrong with this song. It sounds like an ELO song. The animation was good. It wasn't any of Larry's tropes. Everyone is saying S. And I think we're going to have to agree. S tier. S tier. Next up is the song of the Cebu. I love this one. You this. love this one. I do, actually. If you... I remember it correctly, I feel like I might not. I, I have a lot of nostalgia for it because anytime I see anybody using any kind of like projector slides, I think of this. Chat is already saying E, Jude. I think, I think we might have our first controversy of the night here, aside from oh, trying no. to rank religions. Uh <laughs> So first off, the backing track is very good. Yes. Multimedia event, the song of the Sabu. My main problem with this is it's not really a song, which they which they admit that they say it's a multimedia stereophonic event. Yeah. But I'm not gonna put this on in the background while I'm working on the next Microwave Society video, and listen to it. Hey, uh, I, I want to downgrade it a tier already because of Larry's unnecessary lisp. <laughs> like, yeah. it's not there in some songs, and it is there in others. This one is going to be a little bit controversial. Chat, where does the song of the Cebu go? C, E, A, B, D, B, S, C. I think they're about as split as we are. <laughs> All right, you know, you know what? I'm going to say this is a C tier. I think the humor's good. I don't think the song is good. A respectable C, that's what that gets. So next up, we have one of my favorites. It's the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. This is very oh, early, you man. can tell, because he has the skull and crossbones on his hat. I think we're going to have to write them a mad letter for skulls. <laughs> uh, they clearly were smart in the decision to replace it with the tic-tac-toe thing in Jonah. So that's an amazing song. Never been, never been, never been. 
So I actually listened to this maybe like 10 times last night as I was putting this streaming setup together because it's so good. I personally think as a song, I, it might be the best song in general just the way it's written the way how catchy it is i will say the re the reliant k version has a line in it that says we don't smoke we don't chew and if this was on disney plus if this was on disney plus you would be getting a tobacco warning at the beginning of the movie guys it is time to vote for the pirates who don't do anything i i think it's i think it's gonna be on top but we'll see what people say i'm thinking a tier yeah that's that's fair because we didn't really get any good animation with it they didn't do a music video to my knowledge uh, for the for the Reliant K version, I think they only had it on the credits. Uh, people are people are saying S in chat. S is in chat. S is everywhere in chat. The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything is an S tier. All right. S for pirates. Oh, Barbara Manatee. Okay. Uh, yes, Endangered Love. This was my mother's favorite silly song, which is kind of funny because she hates soap operas and Endangered Love is a soap opera in VeggieTales. I'm but not going to lie, as a kid, I hated this. I did not like this one either. Let's take a listen to it with our big boy adult ears and see if we think, <laughs> it, think of it any differently. Barbara Manatee. Wow, there's actually lighting. The first silly song with lighting, guys. Pog and chat. So I will say the humor in this one is pretty good. More so as an adult than a child. Every single kid who watched this hated this. Oh yeah, as a kid, I didn't like this at all. As an adult, I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird and kind of fun. But like, as a kid, I, this did not appeal to me. I think part of it was also, I had a prejudice against like old Baroque stuff as a child. No. <laughs> I must go. Oh, Larry, what are you doing? Jeff, watching a little TV, Bob? <laughs> well, maybe you should read a book. I'm surprised I didn't get canceled for this joke. I personally want to go with C. I personally want to go with C as well. I see a lot of Bs. I'm also seeing some Ss. No, this song is not S tier. If you think this song is S tier, you can unsubscribe. It is not <laughs> S tier. You know what? It, it, it's C. We're putting it in C. You yep. know what, chat? We're overriding your opinion because it's wrong. It's going in C. All right, Jude, it's time for Larry's high silk hat, which I have some personal issues with. I, okay, I'm, I'm going to admit to you, the last, like, five of these I'm not too familiar with. We're getting slightly into newer VeggieTales. I cut it off at Pizza Angel because that's the last one I remembered. We mentioned it in our last video. Let's take a quick listen. One day, what he was waiting for the trolley. I need to hear a little bit more of it to see if it's outright plagiarism because if it's truly plagiarism. Spider-Man came out after this, by the way. The PS2 game. Yeah, well, yeah, but that song is actually way older. It is. I haven't laughed once, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, if I hear this melody on an accordion, I'm going to think Spider-Man and I'm going to laugh. I'm not going to think of this song. Yeah, that's my problem with this song is none of the jokes land for me. It's kind of like the low of VeggieTales humor when they just kind of make something random and they expect it to be funny. Yeah, I don't like this one. Play the last joke. Oh my gosh. People, people, people. <laughs> oh, golly. Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. This song has one redeeming factor, and that's the SFM music video. He wore it high upon but the thing is, is this isn't VeggieTales. This is not VeggieTales, yeah. but they kind of did a better job of making a music video for the song. We're ignoring right. that. Do not give me S's for this. I actually didn't like that one at all. This is not a good song. I want to give it an F. Do you like they gave any effort into it? There's one song on here that's worse than High Silk Cat, and I think it you... actually deserves to be the only one that goes in F. All right, we'll give it an E. We'll give it an Just E. Because... It has a place in culture, but it's not a good song. All right, the belly button song. Here we go. All right, guys, let's listen oh, to this God. absolute banger of a song. Tell me this is... Oh, no. It's by the boys in the sink. Baby, he needs to tell you something. That's what this song is? Yes. It has an actually oh. good, it has a good chorus and hook. The theme is just absurd enough. It's another more, it's more self-aware veggie humor because they don't have belly buttons. I actually love this song. I don't know if chat agrees, but I love this song. Belly button. Sorry. We have Khalil in the house. That's right. We got Khalil rapping. I think it gets oh, S tier just for that. Yeah. It's so hard not to give this an S tier. It's so good. What are we thinking, chat? I think it deserves an S. 
I do too. The only bad thing about it is that Jude didn't remember what it was. Okay. So next up we have the SUV song. It was in the Snoodle's Tale. Not many people remember a Snoodle's Tale because Big Idea was like, you know what? We're going to make a Veggie Tales episode with no veggies in it. We're going to make them Snoodles. And I think just for that, the SUV song is automatically degraded. S for Snoodle's Tale. Um, can we get that person banned? I have not seen this before. Uh, for one, since when is Larry two feet tall? Isn't this going to get canceled because there's some sort of romantic connotation? Oh, your suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. Cringe. Did he rhyme suspense with suspension? Said that. Did I hear that correctly? Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, what is up with the, like this random product placement? 7-Eleven, Frito-Lays, Jeep, Subaru. Oh, I noticed that. They just dropped brand names in VeggieTales? They shout out brands in the next verse as well, which I don't understand. VeggieTales has kind of always done this thing where they mention brands by name. It's just not in a good place. I don't, maybe a D because some of the humor's good? Yeah, I'll give it that. I mean, it's it's not the worst thing I've heard. And the, the uh, chorus, I'll admit, is actually kind of catchy. D for uh, drive off a cliff. <laughs> D-E-F-Z. Yeah. <laughs> Holy God, somebody somebody <laughs> does not like this. I'd, I'd say E then. All right, so we have the SUV song out of the way. This next one is the one that I think is going to go an F. Do you remember this one, Jude? Not at all. I'm a phone. I'm a phone. So the whole bit with this song is that Larry the Cucumber is... I guess a teacher, and he's making a song about what you need to learn in school, which is homophones. So Jude, what are we thinking about this one so far? As much as I like puns, this is not trying to be funny with puns at all. This is just bad. This version of Larry, I don't like it. No, not at all. He has hair. He has glasses with a nose (laughs) thing. Not on his (laughs) nose, but on his eyelashes. (laughs) Not even close. It's just in the center of his mono eye thing. <laughs> I'm not even going to let you vote. This is an F. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That was really, I didn't like it. There wasn't anything about it that made me laugh or had a redeemable quality. I've seen a couple people say S. What were you for when you heard it for the first time? So you have like that nostalgia <laughs> for it. Take off your rose tinted glasses. That song is cringe. Somebody said, imagine judging kids songs. Like, yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> That's kind of the bit we're going for here. No, this isn't a bit. This is an objective tier list. This is facts. Facts do not care about your feelings. And Schoolhouse Thank Polka. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. And Schoolhouse Polka <laughs> is a bad song. All sunshine and roses. So first off, we start off with him singing the blues. And the bit is that Larry is really happy. And he's singing yeah. about happy things. Yeah, I remember this. It also does have that stereotypical blues. Dun, 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 dun. Like oh, the, yeah. Like the first guitar riff you probably ever learn because it's only two notes. Gone away. I'm surprised Larry's able to pull off those vocals. Honestly. The blues with Larry. It's a pretty mediocre song. Where are we going to rank it? Bro, I'm seeing them all over the board. I, I've seen... This song is a, all over a, the place. A, a, people are from S to F on this one. There's nothing that exceptionally stands out, but it's all well done. I have no problems with the song or the humor or anything. It just nothing about it really stood out. So I'd say B is fair. It's not exceptional, but it, I don't think anything about it's terrible. It was fun. Here's our B. And then the last song, guys, is Pizza Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I did that because I knew Jude would laugh at it. Hmm. So it's kind of like a ballad about him wanting his pizza that is not getting delivered in time. It, uh, it's hitting a lot of cliches for me. Yeah. Of like the silly songs, like old music genre style. It'll be about food or something. That he doesn't have and he's kind of sad about it which that's especially cliche because we're t- doing a larry centric theme song it is a silly yeah. song with larry i can think of like five things that fall into that category on this list right now it's it's very average it's a fun song because it reminds me of that thing you do the the movie the delivery person comes in they couldn't find the house because this nine was flipped over it's supposed to be a six and he ate the pizza sorry, sorry about that you don't need to tip me or anything. Tomato sauce and cheese so gooey. That's Bob you're talking about, Larry. F here for sure. Thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> He's got a point. Uh, I want to give it a, a D. 
a D. Okay, chat, what is your opinion on this song? I will say, whenever I heard this song as a child, I always wanted us to order delivery pizza, which was absurd because we lived in the middle of nowhere. But I still wanted to, and I wanted pizza every single wait, time. Wait, Josiah, quick tangent. Did you guys never order pizza? Um, We would go to the grocery store in town and order it there, but we'd have to go there. They didn't deliver it. Just, oh, you you missed out. Tell me you've ordered pizza since then. Oh, yeah, we order it all the time now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause like, bro, that's like an experience. People are saying A and S. Like, eh. What? What? It has what? all the ingredients. It's fun. not. It's not that funny. It's a good song. I have fond memories of it because I did actually eat pizza while watching it, and it's kind of connected to that memory. Like when I hear this song, I taste Hunt Brothers Pizza from our grocery store. <laughs> My mom it, just texted me and said my favorite VeggieTales song was the belly button song. It still is, <laughs> mom. It still is. Chat oh. wants us to rank Pizza Angel high. Let's get. Do you think we should give it a B or a C, Jude? C. C. There we go, yeah. guys. Pizza it, Angel it gets a solid C. All right, guys. Screenshot this and send it to all your friends. <laughs> God, it's all over the place though, so I, I think a C is fair. Look at that distribution! Yeah, it, it is. It's like a lot of songs landed on almost every other letter there. Your heart is deeper.